Hello everyone, what we have today here is a MacBook Air, M1 MacBook Air and also the Oppo Find N5. So today what we're going to show you is the Mac utility that Oppo has developed for macOS. And uh, now we can see is, I just want to show you again, this is my MacBook Air, the serial number, I don't think that matters, but I will censor it. And if we just Google the words O plus connect, we will have this website, connect.oppo.com. And this interface appears. Now, this interface is very simple. The O plus connect already exists for iPadOS and iOS devices. So you can use something like a a drop between the devices. You will need a separate app for your iOS devices, but that's beside the point. What we're going to do here is to use the Mac OS version. So I will just click on this. And then you will have two different versions to download from. So like what we mentioned earlier, mine here is an M1 MacBook Air. So I will download the one with the Apple chip. Click here and then the download will start. The file size is at 186 megabytes, not the smallest, but okay. And you can see there's another version of the installer for Intel powered Macs. So if you are using anything older than the M1, then you will need the Intel chip version. I am actually very surprised that Oppo developed another version for Intel chips Macs because they are considered to be, well, about five years old now. So for me personally, if I am to develop this software, I would just neglect the Intel chip versions. Now back here for a while, you can see that the O plus connect for Windows is coming soon. Uh, currently, you can use the multi-screen connect feature, which is a totally separate feature. Okay, since we have downloaded the file, installing it is just like any other Mac apps. Just drag this into the applications folder and then open this and open the O plus connect app. We will get this kind of warning. So I will just click open. And then this thing appears. It's just a quick rundown on what this thing can do. And I will also need to enable all of the permissions because it does need quite a lot of permissions to get it working. Now, you have two choices. Number one is to sign in your HeyTap account and then the second one is to skip. For me, I already have an account so I will just sign in. Sign in, uh, you do have three different brands of devices to select from but since we're using the Find N5, Oppo it is. So I will log in my account. Once we have logged in, they will ask for more permissions. Just grant all of it. And uh, all of these things will have to go as well. And we can see now, they will tell you that uh, we can already use the multi-screen connect. And uh, we just say sign in and connect automatically. Don't know why they asked me to sign in again because I have already logged in just now. So it ends up that I don't actually need to do anything because the phone already just kind of detect everything for me. So, okay. I also have to enable a bunch of permissions on the phone. So I will just do that off screen right now. And that's it. The O plus connect is now connected to the Oppo Find N5. As you can see, I can see the uh, uh, battery life here. And then we can also see all of the pictures that are in the phone. One thing that's amazing is that I can do this. So for example, let's just open the camera app right now. And then I will just do this for you guys to see. Okay, so you can see that I am using the rear view camera on the Find N5 to take this picture. I'm going to use the tele macro mode. Everything is inverted. I don't know why. I'm just going to take a picture of the number three. Okay. There we are, camera. There it is. Uh, I have to enable this. Uh, lots of permissions. So if I do that again, I will just take a quick picture of the keyboard once more. This time, let's take a picture of the number one. Okay, number one. It should have already been appearing in the app, but it is not here. As you can see, my last picture is the S key. So if I click on images once more, it refreshes the whole gallery. Then we have the picture of the number one. So yeah, that is the one software bug that I have encountered. Of course, we also have access to the videos taken by the phone and then the audio as well. This is all your musics and whatnot. 
and then documents archives and apks for me i have downloaded a few apk already which is why it appears here we can also import files to the phone so let's just say uh okay let's just say i got a picture of this guy here mr john with the msi lucky dragon so if i drag this to the phone it says you can just drop it here to send them to the oppo find n5 i will just open the photos app before i let go so i let go right now oh more permissions okay then there it is in an instant it appears on the phone so this is a very handy feature to have and it actually just integrates your phone to your mac seamlessly all of your pictures whatever are all connected of course you have to be connected to the same wi-fi network and wi-fi 6 preferred because they will offer you the best bandwidth and this feature works really well and of course we can also access to the facebook messengers folder i suspect that this is all the saved documents from facebook messenger downloads folder so everything that i have downloaded will also appear here and bluetooth this is uh, where all of your stuff that are transferred via bluetooth will appear here but what i'm most interested in is this button here remote control so if we click on remote control it will have a bunch more permissions that we need to enable so give me a second and we are back so now what we can do here is to look at all of the details so we can connect using the online account and this is the reason why i created the account in the first place and i have also signed in on the oppo find n5 exact same account and uh, the second way that you can do is connect using password but you have to type all the details yourself i'm not gonna do that and then we just click enable allow remote control and once you enable this option here this pop-up comes out it tells you that it will prevent automatic sleeping and you should keep your macbook connected at all times and then do not close the lid as well and uh, yeah before stepping away try using your phone to perform remote control all of those stuff just to make sure that everything works and then click OK. I have to type in my password. And on the phone, what you need to do now is to go to the settings menu, connections and sharing. You can see here, remote PC control. Press on that. And then agree and continue. We can add a new device. And we can see the MacBook has already appeared here. And it says same account. There it is. So we just press on that. And it will tell me that we can just press connect. And there we go we have connected to the macbook it's that simple okay so what's interesting here is that everything is appearing on the phone itself the macbook is now having no display at all so i'll just zoom into the phone view for you guys to see and uh, we can well we can use this to zoom in and uh we can't technically do anything else but to use the touch screen and this is actually interesting because if you know macs don't actually have support for touch screen and if you connect a macbook to a external monitor with touch capability then it just straight up doesn't work you need external drivers but in this case here yeah you can easily get touch screen working on your macbook so I'll just show you real quick how this thing works. Touch screen. Uh, it's kind of awkward because scrolling doesn't work with a single finger. You need two fingers to scroll. Okay, that is a bit weird and the speed is also a bit weird. But we do have the option to use the mouse. So if we press on mouse, a virtual Apple Magic mouse appears. So we can do this, drag around and then we can just do this, click oh this is right click i don't know how to use the magic mouse so yeah and then we can hold on this center here to scroll i think this scrolling is a lot more uh controllable compared to the two finger scrolling so this is another way that you can use the scroll as well and uh, we can of course right click and whatnot so this is practically an emulated magic mouse and then if we go to this button once more we can change to touchpad so virtual touchpad is practically the same as your macbook's trackpad we can use it in flex mode as well so the responsiveness is exactly the same as the native 
MacBook trackpad. So what we can do is do this. Again, the sensitivity is a bit weird, but we can do all these gestures as well. So launch pad, and then do this to change between your desktops and whatnot, and also do this. All of the trackpad gestures will work, which is actually really good. I really like this feature. And then we can also pop out the keyboard if you want to type anything, and we can switch between uh, phone keyboard and also PC keyboard. Of course, PC keyboard is technically not the correct name because it is using the control option and command keys, which is the Mac keyboard. And uh, we can also change it to the shortcut keys for cut, copy, paste, undo, all of this stuff. So, okay. And back to this menu here, we can also pop in the quick actions. So we can do uh, mission control, launch pad, all of this stuff. It's handy, but I don't think that I will use it. And of course, remote control, we can change the orientation. And then this one is to uh, switch the sound output, change your resolution. And then this one is for privacy overlay. So you can see the MacBook screen behind me is now turned off. And then gestures. Okay, this is a gesture tutorial. I don't really need it. And then mouse and keyboard. What is this? I don't know because the, the word just doesn't come out. Practically, this is the feature that Oppo has developed for Macs. Literally, the best companion that you can ask for if you're using a Mac and an Oppo device. Of course, this O Plus Connect now is only available for the Find N5 as far as I know. Not sure if it's available for the Find X8 Pro. I will put the question to rest because I have the Find X8 Pro with me here. So we go into settings. I need to sign in my account first. Okay, now that we have signed in, we can go to connections and sharing. And then, uh, so you can see these two phones, the Find N5 has the button for remote PC control, but the Find X8 Pro does not have that button. So uh, yeah, we definitely need to wait a new software update to use the new remote PC control on the Find X8 Pro and the other Oppo phones. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I would just say that Oppo, you did a really good job creating this utility. It's actually very useful. And uh, I'm sure that this utility will make a lot of Apple users jealous. So yeah, if you like this kind of quick showcase video, then do give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next video. Remember to check out our full review and gaming test of the Oppo Find N5, because this phone is indeed an interesting one. So yeah, we'll see you guys in those videos. Goodbye.